Also, how one teacher in the Jordan School District used math to help his seventh grade students solve the Rubik's Cube. And we'll show you the latest explosion from that Kilauea volcano. Mike and Denny will see you at six. All right, looking forward to it. The school where one math teacher was successful with this lesson. These stories and more tonight from your neighborhood. This is KSL News at 6. A local teacher is using math to teach his 7th grade students to solve something that's perplexed so many of us, a Rubik's Cube. Elk Ridge Middle School teacher Jonathan Laws says solving a Rubik's Cube is not only about math, but also about problem solving and using brain power. He claims the process also involves following an algorithm or a set of instructions. We focus on following instructions. We focus on recovering from mistakes. And we, we focus on sticking with the task, even if it's really difficult. All very good skills. Law says every student at the school who's tried to solve the Rubik's Cube has been successful. I've never. Have you, Dave? No. No, no, I haven't. <laughs> the students are celebrating their accomplishment with brand new Rubik's Cubes, uh, a certificate, and a pizza party on the last day of school. Yeah, it's the staying focused part that always gets exactly. me. Exactly.